Good evening, it's Pastor Allen again. I want to start this teaching from the book of Revelation. And I just want to read the, from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he set and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that read it and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Now God sent the word to John in order to warn the people of the perilous times that are about to come. And these are the days that we're entering in right now. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and had made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now, John is, after he gave this big introduction, now he's going into the things that are about to come to pass. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. Jesus speaking, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, John was preaching Jesus Christ, and he was basically told not to preach Jesus Christ. And he was exiled to the Isle of Patmos. And they left him there to starve to death. But God came to him in the spirit and had him to write the words of the things that are soon that's coming to pass. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girded about the paps with a golden girdle. His head, were, his head and his hairs were like white wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet unto his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters and he had in his right hand seven stars and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword and his countenance was as the sun shined in his strength and when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, 
Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write these things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. Now, he, now Jesus is explaining exactly what John saw. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. I'm going to stop right now, and I'm going to continue on Revelations chapter 2 in the next video. God bless you.